Okay, it doesn't seem to be sliding. I think I found a cheap alternative to drawer liners. Anti-fatigue roll-up grip mat. So this is pretty big roll here, 46 inches by 93 inches. Okay, so that's pretty big. 30 square feet. I think this will do a few of my toolboxes. Okay, so this won't exactly do several toolboxes, but it will do at least six full drawers. So let's compare that to some other toolbox liners to see how they compare. So here's Craftsman. Should be a decent brand, right? But at 85 inches, it'll only do three full drawers. Now this one's from Tractor Supply, and I can get two full drawers out of this one and one small drawer. So this actually looks like a pretty good deal. It's 24 feet long, so I could do 12 full drawers. Now, it's advertised as toolbox liner and shelf liner, and it's about 1 8 inch thick, which might be okay, but I would definitely recommend gluing this down, and you'll see why I say that in just a minute. It may not be the greatest material for holding tools, but hopefully this is thick enough that it won't roll up when I shut the door. If the tools shift back, that it doesn't cause this to like accordion and buckle up. Okay, that's my hope. Um, maybe not as sticky as some of the others, but some of those are super expensive, and it's just, I can't imagine sp spending 20 or $30 to do a couple drawers. And so this thing was like $24 at Murdoch's, and so this should do all my drawers. That's my hope. Let's see how it looks and works. Well, and this is kind of cool. The, I thought these were plastic. They're actually elastic, so if you don't use it all, you can wrap these back around and keep it in place. So it doesn't unroll everywhere. Okay, so, you know, this four-drawer U.S. General cart works pretty good. I kind of wish I got the five-drawer just because you always want more drawers. But here's what's happening with the mat. And these little mats came in it. And they're working pretty good for up here. But they are kind of thin, you know. And they're very soft. They do pad your tools. So when you slam your tools in there, drop your tool in there, it doesn't make a big noise. It works good for these wrenches. But this is where I'm having trouble with it down here in this one. And you can see I'll set my ratchets in here. Maybe I need to orient them differently, but I don't really, I don't know. And so they just kind of buckle up. Every time you close the drawer, everything kind of shifts back when the drawer hits in the back like that. Uh, little by little, it just kind of works back and gets this all wrinkled and buckled up. And then I can't even see my, you know, there's one hiding under there that I probably forgot I even had. Um, is it happening down here? Um, not so much. Just, well, actually it is. Look at that. There it is all buckled up right there. Okay. So that's just what I'm trying to avoid, and hopefully we can get these in here and that'll minimize that. Let's try it out. Okay, so let's just look at the thickness of this here and see what it looks like. So 0.112. Now this is a little thicker, so just keep this in mind in case your tools are running right against the top edge of your drawer closer. So this is, you know, quarter inch thick. So just keep that in mind when you're using, if you're going to use something like this, that is a little thicker. Now I thought, oh, why don't I just glue this down? This would be a lot easier, but this really isn't great stuff. I mean, it's already torn um, from tools shifting around on it. And I've only had this thing a couple, maybe two or three years, I guess. And I'm not an everyday mechanic. I don't, I don't use this thing all the time. I use it several times a month, but I'm not using it all day, every day. So yeah. Okay. I set this one in place. Uh, I think this is going to relax over time. Of course, the weight of tools is going to hold it in place. It's pretty stiff. So I don't see it, you know, trying to push it backwards isn't going to happen. I think this is going to be pretty durable. I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to glue it in with some construction adhesive and, uh, you know, just run a bead around the edges and maybe an X across the middle here. See if that doesn't hold it down. Then I'll put all my tools in it right away and just leave it and uh, that'll dry hard in 24 hours. Okay, and even if I, you know, have to replace this in 10 years or so because it gets worn out, uh, you know, no big deal. I'll just strip it out. It'll have kind of a glue... Uh, layer inside there probably and I'll have to scrape it out with something uh, But I'm gonna put something else down. So I'm not really worried about what the bottom of the drawers are gonna look I mean, they're all scratched up anyway, even after the after that um, Cheap foam was in there. So, you know, it's like a pickup bed is the way I'm looking at it It's gonna get scratched. It's gonna get used. So okay. So cutting this actually first I drew a line you know, with my level I made my marks drew a line and then tried to cut along that line nice and straight later I the second in later cuts, I abandoned that idea. I just laid the level on there, ran my razor knife along the edge of the level, and I got a super nice uh, straight cut. And it will be obvious if you're a little wavy because this is a different color than the inside of your drawers. Of course, some tool chests are green and yellow and red and whatever. 
this is a pretty dark one, so this kind of lightens it up. Of course, this is not going to last because grease is going to get in here and dirt and whatever, and so the color is going to turn dark anyway at some point. But uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty happy. And so, you know, I put the construction adhesive down. When you lay this down on top of it, make sure to smash the con construction adhesive down to get it to disperse so you don't have like a bead running across here, you know, like a high spot if you wherever you put your construction adhesive, so... Okay, it doesn't seem to be sliding. You know, it's staying nice and tight in the front edge there. That's good. And <laughs> I'm sure I have enough to do a couple more toolboxes. Easy. Sweet. Sweet.